the competition change in cultures changing neighborhood was conducted by everyday city lab and it has been featured on the recording everyday podcast the competition invited entries to reflect upon how the change in the book culture the coffee culture street culture or anything else has impacted neighborhoods and of the multiple entries that we received seven have been featured on the recording everyday podcast and today we will have here with us the winner of the competition abhi to share her thoughts so abhi won the first prize for this competition and her entry was titled a tale of lost masterpieces about verandas and anger so thank you for joining us today abhi it would be nice if you could tell us a bit about yourself yeah sure it's it's my pleasure so my name is abhi um i have a background in architecture and i am currently uh, working in the green building uh, green building industry okay great thank you so much for telling about yourself um moving forward if you can explain your entry a bit what was your understanding of the theme how did the initial idea come to you yeah sure so i have written about a topic which is really close to my heart because i have basically written about my childhood home where i was born and brought up um and currently i'm not living in india um i'm i'm working in the us so writing about about my home and you know reflecting on all those memories was um uh, i really felt nostalgic writing about this topic so uh every time still like every time i walk past uh that place or that neighborhood about what i've written uh i reminisce about all those good old days you know like emotionally and being an architect i cannot help but notice all the urban design aspects of it you know how uh like how we had our house over there and uh, how it enhanced the activity pattern of the main street and now that our house has been uh, replaced by a very typical uh, apartment building uh, the area doesn't feel the same there is there is a drastic difference in the activity patterns and um, that that strong sense of community which existed back then it's it's not really there anymore so i was looking for documenting that experience anyways and i came across this competition at the right time and reading about the topic itself i was really intrigued and i i just couldn't think about anything else but uh, write about my personal experience okay that thank you for sharing that i also i found your is very insightful and intriguing i think one of the questions that i'd like to ask you is that in one of the paragraph more towards the end you said that 50 years after like 50 years of the existence of that home with the angan and the veranda it was mutually decided that it should um, be converted into an apartment building was that a mutual decision of the residents or did uh, somebody approach you and then you collectively took that decision what was it um it was all together so we could see that the house had like unfortunately pieces of it had start started falling apart mm-hmm. and uh, we knew that it's not really going to sustain uh, how much harder we try so we we uh, had some renovation done uh, a few years before we decided to take that step but then uh it was it was kind of going to become a little risky for our lives as well to live there so it was it was the residents who decided and in fact um, that was also a good experience you know like living there we we just got together and we had a, a nice get together you can say and then that is how uh, in a friendly manner it was decided you know we have to take this step unfortunately and uh, yeah because because the house is in uh, was in such a prime location there were so many uh, builders and developers who were already interested in you know uh, redeveloping that site so that is how it it all worked out together and that really helps to know how the space transform and 
the place holds a collective memory for the people who resided there. But at the same time, you also have this, uh, in a way, authority as well as the willingness to be able to take a decision about it and uh, bring about that change as well. Exactly. And the good thing about it is that there were uh, no bad memories even about that thing, you know, about redeveloping yes. that site. It yes. all, uh, thankfully, it all happened in a very friendly manner. So, the, like, there's literally nothing uh, negative I can think about. That's helpful to know. Uh, I, I would also like to ask you if there were any other entries in the portal that you recollect that intrigued you. Yeah, uh, so the one uh, that Kajol has written, the uh, Chai Pizza Dilemma, that, that one I think was quite interesting. And uh, just the way I have used some local words in my article, she has also mentioned some really uh, local and, you know, village-focused uh, 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 words or um, local words basically yes. so I found all of that very relatable and with the mention of her grandfather and all or like a very typical uh, story from a village so that is also something um, I have experienced and uh, I could relate a lot so that was interesting and the other one was I think about the changing road, road system from Pune so yes. Um, I have been to Pune many times and uh, I, I have seen some uh, urban issues over there closely. Uh, so yes, that that one was also interesting, I think. You found that relatable and uh, you've also perhaps seen that change happening that at one exactly. point you saw streets and then you have this metro construction and maybe some, like you said, a stereotypical building came about in some places. Exactly, exactly. And in fact, a lot of these issues uh, were kind of new, but still known. Mm. It's it's like that. And yeah. I think this portal uh, is a really great place to um, have all those issues collected in one place and, you know, uh, just have them for uh, readers um, to, to be aware of. So, yeah. Thank you for sharing your thoughts because I, um, as we were also developing this idea of uh, the brief of the competition, we realized that I think perhaps most of us at some point in our life have come across this quote that change is inevitable or change is the only constant. And we realize that in today's context, that change in the form of urbanization is something which, is in, which seems to be inevitable. Be it in your case, which is a neighborhood in a city like Bombay, which is which had uh, urbanized has been urbanizing rapidly, or be it in even which villages that one of the entries talk about that uh, even villages are urbanizing. It either because because there's a need of development, sometimes there's also this uh, in a way a fantasy or a want or a need of something newer in some in some different way. There's a change of culture, and we realize that it also impacts the spaces around us, like you mentioned, like you have described in your entry as well. That uh, because that apartment, uh, because that apartment came about, the street usage completely changed. We, uh, the built form of it in, was in such a way that you couldn't interact with the street, so uh, maybe it became deserted. But at the same time, what we realize is that to uh, what we realize is that there are these collective memories that uh, that are there in these spaces. And in some cases, like in yours, it was a mutual decision. There was a participation from the citizens of the resident side as well. Sometimes it's induced because uh, something else came up in the neighborhood, from the, uh, maybe uh, the author government authorities or some builders of land, which was which used to be maybe a play space for everyday uh, playing for children or something like that. Yeah. But we realize That's that, true. yeah, and there's all. I think there's a good change. You're trying to adapt to things, but at the same time, you're nostalgic and you're trying to preserve a few things as well. Um, we realize that uh, one of the ways that one can do is to create a dialogue like this, 
to um, to know what the collective memory or collective history of a state had been like. And perhaps engaging in such a conversation with the residents as well as others as well could help us uh, decide the future trajectory of change in a way, maybe. Or um, it can also help to know what can be preserved and how it can be preserved. So Definitely. That, thank you for contributing your insights and for, uh, for joining us today for this dialogue. Yes, of course. It's it's my pleasure. I really enjoyed doing this.